Students in every calculus class are asked, if a ladder is slipping down the wall at a certain rate, how fast is the bottom? Who cares? <laughs> Textbooks. I think they've missed their era. Like, I think it's just too late to get people to, well, at least around here, to buy into buying a textbook. So, in that sense, it's freed up what we do. We're not teaching the same course that I took when I was a student, which we would be, I think, if we really adhered to traditional textbooks. Textbook is really um, a set of course notes that I wrote that um, that we use instead of a formal textbook. I think as students, we um, sometimes it's very difficult to pay for such expensive textbooks. And I know I just paid like $200 to buy, <laughs> buy a textbook. And that money could go towards other resources. I never actually thought of it as like, here we're doing open resource stuff. I just thought of it as like, these students are paying 200 bucks for a textbook, and the textbooks don't even cover the stuff that I really am trying to you know, push in the course, like to emphasize, which is the applications. In Math 102, we use a lot of uh, videos, class videos, and the course notes on the websites, and there's uh, some quizzes and homework, old school homework. R really makes, it, makes the course material more accessible for us. We've got a variety of kinds of uh, resources. Some are publicly available, Dealing with publishers can be a little bit problematic because um, with my first book, the publisher essentially did nothing other than increase the price every year, um, which was disconcerting. So uh, this way I feel that I can reach the students more easily um, and also change it, change it on the go. In classes where you take notes in class with a prof, but then you go to a textbook that is recommended by the professor to use for that class, and it's very different. It creates this conflict um, in your learning. So if I would say it's made, it definitely makes that conflict easier if a prof has written a textbook. We, I can actually talk about things that come up in my research and have them in the course notes when we have this home, home written set of course notes. I take teaching very seriously, and I want to give the students both um, a good appreciation of math and the idea that math really has a role to play not just in their learning and in science but also in, in their daily life. I think for the math course the more um, I feel it's more efficient in this way. You have all the materials in one, in one website it saves you time and money, so I would really love to have more courses like that.